I've got to play this one. This is by far the best clip of the entire night. This is Marianne Williamson, and she's trying to sort of put a frame around the the scope of their situation that the Democrats are in, and it is absolutely astounding. How this woman is not in first place by a long metric, I don't know. We have communities, particularly communities of color and disadvantaged communities all over this country who are suffering from environmental injustice. I assure you, I lived in Gross Point. What happened in Flint would not have happened in Gross Point. This is part of the dark underbelly of American society. The racism, the bigotry, and the entire conversation that we're having here tonight, if you think any of this wonkiness is going to deal with this dark psychic force <laughs> of the collectivized hatred that this president is bringing up in this country, then I'm afraid that the Democrats are going to see some very dark days. We need to say it like it is. It's bigger than Flint. It's all over this country. It's particularly people of color. It's particularly people who do not have the money to fight back. And if the Democrats don't start saying it, then why would those people feel that they're there for us? And if those people don't feel if they won't vote for us, and Donald Trump will win. <laughs> so there you have it. The Democrat plan is to combat the dark psychic force that is Donald Trump. And, uh, you know, immediately I thought of new band name. I call it Dark Psychic Force. Because, I mean, come on. You, you can't tell me you would not go to see a band called Dark Psychic Force. That's awesome. And uh, I also thought it kind of sounded like a Pokemon attack, so I... I quickly made up this card. Uh, so that's 2020 Trump with his dark psychic force attack. Uh, yes, because I'm a nerd that plays Pokemon cards. And uh, you'll notice that his dark psychic force attack does 20 damage times the number of times that Marianne Williamson says something that makes absolutely no sense in this debate. But yeah, the, the dark psychic force. So that aside, even though that was by far the best part of that clip, what Marianne Williamson is doing there is actually pretty significant because she's going away from the actual nuts and bolts and she says the wonkiness. Now, I do think it's pretty funny that Marianne Williamson's criticism of her fellow Democrats is basically, you guys know more than me. Like, that's a weird criticism to have. Uh, basically admitting that they all are more experienced and, and smarter than you when it comes to this stuff. But... Uh, odd line of attack, but the truth is it may work. Because as we have learned by the, especially the Democrat left in the past few years, facts are not really a currency in the Democrat Party. It doesn't matter whether you're or not you're a man or a woman, as long as you feel like a man or feel like a woman, like Shania Twain. It doesn't really matter whether or not, uh, when you're talking about the medical community, it doesn't matter that all the science points to an unborn child being an actual human being. We're going to go ahead and ignore that because it's politically expedient. You could say the same thing about climate change. I mean, you could go on and on about this. But what it all boils down to, and I think Marianne Williamson actually, I don't think she's going to win. I don't think she has a prayer. But what she is talking about, and I think she's going to see a significant bump in the polls not enough to propel her to the victory, but enough to her for her to kind of make a splash. The reason that I think that performance last night is going to help her in the polls is everybody else was talking about the nuts and bolts, talking about policy. She wasn't. What she was talking about is the uh, sort of the spirit of the Democrat Party, because what the Democrats really want to hear right now is orange man bad, and we're going to do everything we can to stop him. And she doesn't really get into the grass much. She doesn't get off into the weeds. She's just sitting there and telling you we're going to go after Donald Trump. And she actually characterized him as a dark psychic force. So it's pretty clear what, what side she stands on. I don't think it's enough to actually propel her to victory, but I think she's going to make a stronger showing than people are, are thinking here. <laughs> Oh, hey, what are you still doing here? Video's over. I'm off the clock, so go watch another one of my videos or something. Or better yet, you could subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. And if you do that, then you'll get a notification when I actually am on the air and you can watch me then. In the meantime, I'm going to take a nap.